Hi, thanks for joining me. Today I've got a fun video for Pi Day. Today we want to know which of these two numbers is bigger. Is it Pi or is it the cube root of 31? And now these two numbers are incredibly close to one another, so a bit of a spoiler alert here, they're in fact within 1 over 1000 of one another, so it is very, very close. And we're going to be proving this using, uh, well, mathematical techniques. We can't just bung this into our calculator, that takes the fun out of it. Let's dive into a solution. Okay, so we're going to be using this fact here, that the sum uh, from n equals 1 to infinity of 1 over n to the power of 6 equals pi to the 6 divided by 945. Now, I was thinking about proving this fact here, but to prove this, it just requires quite a few steps. So I'm not going to prove it in this video just for the sake of time, but I'll leave a link in the description below to a video made by Dr. Payem in which he proves this result. Um, so we're basically using Parseval's identity here to help us prove this. Uh, so very similar to the Basil problem, but ex instead with powers of 6. Anyway, we're going to use this result to begin with and uh, kind of manipulate it in a pretty smart way. So let's start from the left-hand side that the sum uh, from n is 1 to infinity of n to the 6 is pi to the 6 over 945. But I'm going to split this into the sum from n is at least 1 of 1 over n to the 6, but where n is odd, and add on the case where n is even of 1 over n to the 6, like so. Okay, cool. And the great thing about this is this even term here, I can say is this. So the sum from n is at least 1 of n odd of 1 over n to the 6 plus, and each of these terms are even, so I can strip out um, a 2 to the 6 from the denominator here. So plus 1 over 2 to the 6 of the sum from n is bigger than or equal to 1 of just 1 over n to the 6. So what exactly have I done here? Well, this guy here is just the same as 1 over 2 to the 6, plus 1 over 4 to the 6, plus 1 over 6 to the 6, and so on. And so I've just taken out a 1 over 2 to the 6 from everything. So this becomes 1 over 1 to the 6, plus 1 over 2 to the 6, plus 1 over 3 to the 6, and so on. Uh, hence why I haven't put n odd or n even here. It's just all of the numbers to the power of 6. And now this is just the same as the sum from n is at least 1 of n odd, of 1 over n to the 6 plus 1 over 2 to the 6 times this thing here, but this thing we're going to use our fact is just pi to the 6 over 945. And now this left hand side is this, but that is just pi to the 6 over 945. And so now we can just rearrange this to make this the subject and just using uh, some relatively simple calculation. You don't really need a calculator for this, um, but just rearranging this, you get that the sum from uh, n is 1 to infinity of 1 over n to the 6, just when n is odd, is going to be pi to the 6 divided by 960. So just by rearranging this equation here, and you can check that for yourself, you get this result here. Okay, so we're going to use this result here, and we're going to use this pi to the 6 over 960 to actually provide an upper bound to the first, the sum of the first few terms of this series here. And you might ask, well, how many terms do we have to use here? And what's really nice about this, this series is it, it's very, very convergent. And what I mean by that is the terms get very close to zero very quickly because the denominator is to the power of six. So in fact, here we can just use the first two terms. And so I can say that pi to the six over 960 is bigger than one over one to the six plus one over three to the six, like so. So pi to the 6 over 960 is bigger than this. So I've just taken the first two terms of this. Obviously, there are some other terms here, hence why I've put bigger than. Now, what is this equal to? Well, this is just 1 plus 1 over 729, like so. And now if I multiply both sides by 960, I get pi to the 6 is bigger than 960 plus 960 over 729. But of course, 960 over 729 is pretty clearly bigger than 1. And so this is going to be bigger than 961. And we get pi to the 6 is bigger than 961, but 961 is just 31 squared. And we get pi to the 6 is bigger than 31 squared. And so just taking the sixth root on both sides, we get that pi is bigger than 31 to the third, which is just the cube root of 31. And that proves that pi is bigger than the cube root of 31. 
and we didn't really need to use our calculators. I mean, you could have just to speed up some of the calculations, but we were only really adding and subtracting, uh, you know, three digit numbers, which isn't too difficult to do by hand. Um, and we get this really, really cool result. Um, a really, really interesting um, um, kind of kind of idea uh, to use an infinite series and then just taking the first couple of terms and then using that as a bound to provide a bound on pi. And so pi is ever so slightly bigger than this here. And if you look at pi cubed, this is something like 31.006, something, something, something. I can't remember what comes after that. So very, very close to being exactly equal to. So this is a pretty good approximation and much better than pi is 22 over 7, or I should say approximately equal to. Um, anyway, uh, that's the end of today's video. I hope you have enjoyed it and hopefully you have some uh, interesting events happening today on Pi Day. I'm sure there are loads of other interesting videos about Pi coming out today, so perhaps have a look at those as well. Anyway, thanks so much for watching and I will catch you in the next one. Have a great day.